Hey everyone, welcome back to VBA A to Z. I'm Lung Pamai, and in today's video, I'll introduce you to a very easy to use and a reliable password recovery tool for Excel from PassFab.com. Excel gives us ability to protect our work, whether to protect sensitive data or prevent accidental changes being made. But then the problem arises when we forget the password or when someone leaves the organization without sharing the password and the scenario goes on. Uh, one of the drawbacks in Excel um, is that there is no inbuilt way to reset the password. So in this kind of scenarios, I use PassFab Excel recovery tool. So before we jump to demo, let me uh, quickly highlight some of the main features. In short, PassFab for Excel can be used to recover Excel file open password. You can also use to unlock protected sheets and work structures as well. And to top that, it is now available at the throwaway price. So do not forget to check out the video description for the special offer link. This software uses latest decryption algorithms, making password recovery easier and at the same time keeping your original data safe. Uh, it supports .xls and .xlsx formats for Excel 97 all the way till Excel 2019. Okay, now let me give a quick demonstration on how to use this tool. Uh, please note that the detailed user guide is available uh, in the official website. You can also um, you know, download the free trial version and try it out for yourself. I'll close this and start up um, Password for Excel. Okay, so when you open up the app, you'll see two options. Um, the first one is to uh, recover Excel open password. Second one is to remove restrictions like uh, the Excel worksheet password or the structure log and so on. So let's try this first. This one is easier. Let's not take time. Um, let me add a new uh, workbook from template. And let's say that I protect this with ABC123. It can be anything, you know, more symbols or something like that, okay? Um, it does not matter. And first, I'm going to protect the worksheet. Um, so basically, I copied from here and I paste it here. Now, it should not allow me to make any changes. Uh, I can still add the sheets. Um, now, I'll protect the structure as well. No, I I'm not able to, you know, add any sheets as well. I'm going to save this as demo one. And the format is XLSX. Okay, I'm um, going to close this, bring up the app. And I'm gonna, simply going to drag it here, or you can browse as well. I'm going to drag it here. And click on remove. So it immediately just, just removes this. Um, so if you want to see the output, you can click on open folder and it, the original file is not, you know, changed. This is the output. And then once you open, you'll see that we are able to change it. Okay, so it's simple as that. I'm um, going to close this without saving. Now coming back here. Now let's try for Excel open password. Um, I'm going to go back further. So once you click here, you'll see these three options, uh, three attack modes or recovery modes. So first one is the dictionary attacks. Um, so once you click on settings, you'll see that the first time you download this application, you'll see a, an option to download the latest dictionary uh, if available. And then once you download, it will go to where the software has been installed with the file unlocker underscore dictionary dot text. And you can also create your custom dictionary. For example, you click on add, you can browse for the file. Uh, for example, let's say that you you have very commonly used a uh, password um, that you maintain a list of, then you can also simply create a text file with different you know passwords like this, okay? And then you can simply save as, uh, let's call this custom dictionary, something like that. And then um, you should be able to browse from here, yeah? So you click here, browse, browse your dictionary, open, and that's how it is. So for now, I'll just leave this part as it is because this one has, you know, like about 7 million passwords. I verified this, you know, records count by running one of this code. Um, I basically copied, you know, this dictionary from the software location to my desktop, this file. So if I go here, this file is about 73 MB. And if I just use a simple VBA code to print out what is the total uh, lines of code, then it will basically give me like it has about seven million records in it okay so that's how i came to know that it has about that much records okay um 
Now uh, let's try this. First, you know, like this is the fastest because it's going through all the lists of, you know, available uh, possible passwords that are listed in the dictionary. So first, let's try this out. Let's reuse the same file, um, demo one. This one, this is still logged and I can save as, and then I'll call this as demo two. I'll add a password. Um, so for this password, let's say that uh, we want to use uh, percentage maybe a b c d uh, so that it does not take too much time for us a b c d one two three i'll just use this as a password and put it here i'll add uh, some more tips but just give me a moment so now this file has been password protected if i go into um, this demo demo two so it's asking for password now yeah now if i let me just verify that the password is correctly entered okay so uh it works now let me try and bring this one here now and so at the moment saying that uh you know uh, the password is unknown and once i click on this it's basically gonna go through uh, the list of all the you know password available in the dictionary which is this dictionary yeah and let me click on recover uh, so yeah I'm gonna fast forward if it's taking time but uh, it took me around uh, one minute one minute took around you know like eight to ten thousand records um, you know try out so it's quite fast but it also depends a little bit on your computer you know configuration the ram and the memory available um, and the processor so that will have a little bit of impact on the speed um. okay so that took about less than two minutes to recover this password so now we can copy this uh, it tells you exactly what the password is so you can copy this and then you can go and unlock the file okay so that's one way of uh you know recovering the password using dictionary attack and as i've said it's around like seven million records so you know possibility is quite high and then whenever there is the latest dictionary it's going to be available here for you to download again okay so now for the second one here um i'm gonna open again demo one and save us with a new password um for this we'll use a bit simpler password because it will take too much time um, if it is too complex but uh, just to give you familiarity how to you know filter down um, and narrow down the search of the password okay so let's say that this is um, instead of ABC123 let's try A3 uh, maybe A3B 12C um, let's let's try this as a password just six characters yeah so I'll put a password and the password and let's call this demo tree and let me try and reopen this okay there it is okay so the password has been saved successfully now let's try to recover you know using this mask attack uh, so here basically you can you know specify if you have an idea about how much you know like the password link was then it becomes easier for you to filter you know filter down so that it does not try too many combinations so uh now we know for this one that it is six characters so uh, i'm gonna set this to six minimum password and maximum is also six so i'm gonna leave this as it is and now we know um you know here for example it's um, using a number and a character alphabet so um, let me just uncheck all this and then go in here and then i'll say okay uh, my password will probably have abc and then there are no symbols uh, there are numbers which are one two three you can even try more but for the sake of time i'm just gonna you know cut this short uh, lesser for now like this okay so now you can see that it's highlighted a bit that some of them are selected in this category if you have a prefix or a suffix, you can also add those here uh, so that, you know, it will try out all of those together. 
Uh, so the more combinations, the more uh, you know uh, length it is, the query is going to take a little bit you know time to crack. Okay, now um, we will try and bring that file, the new file, demo tree. So this is the one with this password, a3b12c. Yeah. So click on recover. Okay, so it took about, I think it took more than two minutes to recover, you know, give us this result. Okay, so that uh, that is, uh, you know, how to use the mask attack. Again, you can customize, you know, uh, with more symbols and then try those from your end. And then the final one is the Bruce of force attack. This is the one which takes most time because it's going to try on all the combinations starting from A and then A, A and then, you know, all the number combinations, capital, and then lowercase, uppercase, and all this together. Yeah, so it's going to keep trying to run for hours. Um, so I won't be able to demonstrate that properly here. But yeah, you can try that option if these two options does not work. In the upcoming weeks, I'll share a few more useful apps from PassFab. But I want to quickly point out that PassFab's screen recorder is also running at 80% discount at the moment. So if you're interested, please do check out the video description for the promotion link. Um, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.